Well, they have taken smash and grab burglaries to a whole new level, crashing vehicles into building and making off with the ATM machines. But in Baltimore County, it appears that four such suspects may have gotten a little too greedy. They made off with an estimated 10 grand, but as uh, WMR2 News Jeff Hager tells us, they didn't get very far. The windows are boarded up now at this Exxon gas station on North Charles Street, where a white van backed into them, shattering the glass panels so burglars could make off with an automated teller machine inside. It happened just after 4 o'clock in the morning on Monday, and this time, police watched it unfold. Our detectives, because they were in the area, they were on scene, they were able to apprehend these individuals, and subsequently four suspects were locked up and charged with second-degree burglary. If you think police were just lucky to be in the right place at the right time, well, think again. This time, they were waiting for it to happen. While ATM burglars sometimes use stolen vans to ram the building, sometimes even leaving them at the scene, this time it was a lookout car that proved to be their undoing. According to charging documents, surveillance footage from similar burglaries showed a gray Infiniti G37 following the stolen vans as they fled with the machine. Once its plate was tracked down, undercover officers tracked the car's movements until it met up with a van recently stolen in Baltimore City, more than three miles away from the Exxon station. And they followed both vehicles there. It may prove to be the trick to turning the tide on this recent crime wave. We are still going to use the same measures that we took in place to apprehend these individuals to do the same. We did a great job with our detectives and our specialized units working cooperatively and also working with Baltimore City, our neighboring jurisdiction, to apprehend these individuals. Court records show one of the suspects admitted he had played a role in five or six similar crimes just in the last month. In Baltimore County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.